got a new weed eater, guys. Pretty awesome, huh? Hi, I'm Rainy. And I'm Lynette. In 2021, we made the decision to sell our home in the East Bay and relocate to the foothills of California. Join us in our journey living the foothill life. Today we're going to get back up on the orchard. I need to re-weed eat it again and Rainy's going to go and um, reattach all the deer fencing and just make sure all of the fruit trees are good. So let's go. Ran out of gas but I don't know if you can see how much progress I've made up there. Rainy already went and fixed all the um, netting around the fruit trees and stuff. It's really hot and sweaty. I don't want to lift this so you can see my face. I think Rainy's in the greenhouse. Let's go over there real quick. And then I gotta get some more gas for the weed eater and head back out there. Yep, there she is. So the Fresno chilies are still in the greenhouse. Looks like some of them might be dead. She said she thinks some of them might be dead. Oh, because some have green and some don't. Yep. That's not some of them dead. Nope. A lot of them. I'm going to water them and see what happens. Now we just start all over again. Yeah. No big deal. We still have to add the uh, soil in here and turn it. Here's all the bags. They're still lined up. Got to turn it all this up and with it. But I think we we're gonna do, what'd you say, like lettuces and stuff in here? Yeah, stuff that doesn't flower. Stuff that doesn't flower. Oh, look at that. That's a mushroom here. Huge mushroom. I just pulled out whatever weed that thing was out there. Maybe you can see a little better. Now, I've remind, remember, I've already weed eated this whole thing. It was so tall and I wanted to do it. Sorry for the shake. I'm weak from the... <laughs> the weed eater um i wanted to do it earlier like i did because it was getting so tall and it was hard then so if i would have waited longer it would have been even harder so it's, it's really easy right now but it's just repetitive repetitiveness having to do it over so i thought i would come back up here real quick to see if the snake is still up here the dead snake And he said it's starting to stink. Yep, it's still there. Well, that's about it for now. Kicked my butt again. Rainy's up there adjusting some of the water lines. It's nice having property, but a lot of maintenance. This all grew back. I've already weeded this area twice. You can see where I weeded before down here. There's some trimmings. Rainy ripped out an old bush. We're just trying to get everything cleaned up. When we bought the property, um, was kind of neglected so we're just trying to get everything cleaned up cleaned out burnt you know uh, just trying to burn everything before the burn season's over it's just a lot but once we get it squared away hopefully maintenance won't be so bad we're not spring chickens anymore so I just uh, turned 58 last week and what in a week and a half, Brady's gonna turn. See if I turn 58, she's gonna turn 56. <laughs> 
anyways thanks for watching guys we appreciate it hi you guys while Lynette's finishing weed eating that orchard up there I'm going to plant the zucchinis in this long bed um, they're gonna be uh, long net yellow squash and some black beauty summer squash uh, zucchinis I typically direct sow these they grow really nicely adding a little bit of manure. It's a blend, it's not straight manure. Adding lime to help with any kind of uh, uh, and root rot on your fruits. And this winter I put wood ash in here. Give a little bit of potassium and it sat over the winter. blood meal, your nitrogen, slow releasing, breaks down slowly. Some bone meal, calcium. Kind of get blend that all into the soil. I'm going to water it down so we can get some of that uh, amendment kind of soaking into the soil. I'm not sure if you can hear me, it's pretty loud where Ned is weed eating. She's a trooper, I used to be the one to do it all. Right now I just can't with my back, you know, everybody hears about my back. I got three bulging discs, two of them are intervening with, uh, they're interfering with two of my nerves, my root nerves. Going down my legs. A little bit of spinal stenosis down there. Physical therapist is trying to help me. He's helped me a lot, actually. I wasn't a walker. I'm not in a walker anymore. He told me to take it easy on my building projects till he got give me some therapy. I'm going to let that soak in a little bit, and then I'll um, put the seeds in. I'm going to put the seeds in now. They go in one inch deep. Uh, they need to be about three feet apart from each other because they do get pretty big. So we're going to have three plants of each. I'm going to put two seeds in each hole in hopes that one germinates.
to water that thoroughly again. And in about 14 days, we should have some germination. Thanks for watching. Check this out. I was weed eating. And I think I disturbed somebody's home. Harrietta, is that you? Go find a new home. I don't know what happened to your other one. All right, I wanted to show you a little bit what Lynette's doing. She's getting on the side of the hill there by the greenhouse. She's got to go around the chicken coop, but they're going to freak out. She already did the little orchard. We have all of our fruit trees up there. Looks really good. This is actually her second time she's done it. Uh, and we do it twice because it gets so long that if you wait, you know, towards the end of the spring, right before summer when everything dies, it is so long it's hard to cut. So she cut it early. And then this time around, it was really fast for her to do it because it, it only grew maybe another inch or two instead of, you know, six, eight, ten inches. So she's getting all that done. We only do, uh, we do the orchard and then we do about a hundred feet, you know, away from the driveway and away from the house and away from any kind of structure that can catch fire. We don't do actually the whole property. <laughs> the first year we hired somebody to do the whole property, but it was expensive because two and a half acres of a lot of grass is expensive, but she's working hard. She's a trooper. I really appreciate her because she's never really been a much of a yard work person. I'm the one that's always done it. So she's stepping up right now until hopefully I get somewhat fixed. It'll never be fully better, but maybe I can help her maybe next year. All right, you guys, we really appreciate you guys watching. A lot of hard work, a lot of cons to having property, but there's a lot of pros too. So um, thanks for watching and thumbs up if you appreciate what we do. Subscribe if you want to watch more. Sorry that uh, we haven't been doing a lot of building. The landscaping, all the weeding is more important right now before we get into 90 to 100 degree weather where it's almost impossible to do the work. So we're hitting it hard. We got some stuff to do the ceiling in the bar, so uh, we'll be hitting that soon. We'll have to clean them up and put that in. So hopefully, and I'm slowly working on the electricity. All right, you guys, take care.